Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and in this video we are going to look at how to use wildcard characters in Excel formulas and there are many reasons why you might want to do this. Now wildcard characters just to set the scene before we do anything else are characters such as the asterisk and the question mark. There is also the tilde, uh, which is this character here, but it's quite unlikely you're going to need that one. We're going to focus on the asterisk and the question mark here. So the asterisk replacing all manner of characters and the question mark a replacement for a single character. What the tilde does is it ensures that the next character, like a wildcard character, is used literally and not used as a wildcard. So I'm not too interested in that right now. I want to see how we can use these two classic wildcards in our Excel formulas. Now these are great when you need to perform um, you know, some kind of calculation on a, a partial text match because you either don't know or you don't need to know the full string. And I'm going to kick off with a VLOOKUP. Uh, very few better places to start than the awesome VLOOKUP. And in this basic example, I want to return the value uh, from a specific uh, kind of town or city from uh, column A. But as you can see, I've got the kind of uh, town slash city and then the name of the country that it's in here or the area that it's in. So I'm not interested in, you know, the, the UK element or the Sweden element. I just need to know that town or city or that, that location, as is mentioned here. And for this pretend example, it's going to be Bristol sitting in row six there. So let's write a, a VLOOKUP that can do that. But this is a partial match on Bristol. It's not a full match. So let's start with VLOOKUP. So the lookup value is going to be cell D3, where I have written Bristol. And then what I'm going to do is put on the ampersand, the concatenation operator, and within a string, so my inverted commas, my double inverted commas, I will put one of those asterisks and then close it off with the double inverted commas. To indicate, you know, find one that begins with the word Bristol. You know, I could put an asterisk before it as well, now say as long as the word Bristol occurs in that cell, then great. But I'm saying no, I know it begins with that word. I'm just not interested in what comes after, uh, i.e. the UK in that scenario, but whatever it may be afterwards. We may have quite inconsistent results coming across here, but I know it begins with Bristol. The rest of it is a normal VLOOKUP, so I'm going to kind of shoot through this. Uh, this is not intended as a VLOOKUP lesson. It is all about the wild cards, but that's my table array, column index number as two, the value, and false for the end, close bracket and enter. I'm looking at 49 here, aren't I, for Bristol, and in it comes. But if somebody was to change Bristol to Leon, or indeed to Hamburg, then whatever one we're dealing with here, uh, or my hometown or London, uh, in it comes. It is looking it up in that column, returning the value from column two. So that is our first example of wildcarding formulas, using it with VLOOKUP for partial matching. Okay, so in example number two of using wildcards in Excel formulas, we're going to see them used with the COUNTIF and SUMIF functions. These amazing functions, some of those popular ones in use in Excel, is a, also a classic scenario for using wildcards. And in this example, I have these invoice references, and the first two characters indicate the sales rep who made the sale. The other numbers we don't really care about right now, but maybe that you know it's some part kind of reference. All I want to know is if the reference number begins with SJ whoever that may be, how many orders and how much money. So for the how many, we're going to be using the count if. So I want to count if on the range of invoices down there, A2 to A11, 
comma and then the criteria which just like before is going to be a combination of that sales reps details in D3 and I'm going to concatenate on with ampersand uh, the asterisk which I mistyped there let's move on <laughs> and if I press enter it's a very similar situation so I'm going through this at a fair pace there are the four ones that begin with the character SJ and for how much that's going to be a sum if function uh, so the range to test is here comma the criteria is that concatenated range of D3 in goes the ampersand the asterisk comma the sum range in addition in column B there and I can count or sum and use these world cards for this partial matching where well, I don't know what the full string is I don't know what the number is but I know that if those two letters occur in that string or in this scenario at the start of that string then you know total or count the occurrences of that and once again if I changed it to KE which is another one in here in that cell then I'm able to report on that information which is fantastic okay so in the next example let's see how you might want to use those question marks the wildcard character that replaces a single character and what I've got here is I've got those same invoice references in a different sheet uh, to keep it away from what we we're doing before and maybe what I need to do is a little bit of troubleshooting uh, we've got some inconsistencies coming through these references should always be six characters long and I want to count how many of them are six characters are there any in that list that aren't are there any mistakes so in a cell I could for this use my counted function because I am counting from that range of cells and then for the criteria in my string in my inverted commas I'm going to type six question marks so I don't know what the characters will be I don't know who the sales rep is I don't know who the number is but I know that it should be six characters in length how many in a2 to a11 are six characters in length and when I press enter there are seven only seven so there are ten invoice references only seven of them now you may have noticed if I point them out now these three have got seven characters a4 uh, yeah to a6 there have got uh, seven characters long there they are not meeting the six they're the three that are causing problems now I knew that because I kind of set this up and it's not massively difficult to see with only 10 there but at the same time it's not that clear you know that these strings are longer because of the W mainly giving the impression that you know that's quite small when it's actually seven characters so the county function has identified there are problems doesn't tell us where but we know there are some so what I could do now is highlight those cells and let's use a conditional formatting rule so we can use wildcard in formulas but we can use formulas in you know in the conditional formatting rules and data validation rules and uh, define names so it takes us to another level I could use a formula in conditional formatting to identify the problem ones so what I'm going to do here is a count if function and I'm going to put that count if to look at the cell a2 that's the first one in this range I don't give conditional format a range of cells I'm only going to give it the one cell comma and then I want to know in my string if it's not six characters so I'm going to put this in a cell on a spreadsheet in a moment because I know it's pretty small on my screen right now I'll take a copy of that so I can show you the formula then we just choose a color I'm going to choose some kind of orange and if I okay my way out of this there are the three and this is the formula that was quite difficult for me to see me type there when I'm inside that dialog box but that's what I did this here is the not operator so count how many cells in that entire range but starting from a2 don't be misled by that I did highlight the range in that conditional formatting count how many are not six characters in length six characters here 
all built within the string. I could have used any logical operator here, greater than, less than, you know, equal to. But I want to know how many are not six. So it could be less, not just more, could be less. And now, not only do I know how many, that's a load of rubbish right there, <laughs> but I know it is those three. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on wild cards in formulas. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, come check us out at computergargar.com as well or on our Facebook channel, Computer Gargar.